Greetings guys, Joseph James here once again with your nightly newsletter brought to you by the School of Trade .com. Today was October 22nd, 2009. want to give all of our guests here tonight a warm welcome and thank you for joining us today in our free webinar today at 4.30. We did a great webinar this afternoon. I want to thank you guys for coming out and joining us today. Uh, I want to remind you guys before we talk about the trades we took today and the term of the day today, uh, our 3 a.m. Euro session for our live trade room is currently suspended due to low volume. We have not seen very much volume at the 3 a.m. Eastern Time Euro session. As you know, we're usually open for that. But we have suspended that until we have more volume returns to that 3M open. Of course, I want to remind you guys also about our free resource online. Head to our YouTube page, forward slash School of Trade. And while you're there, guys, please subscribe to our channel there that we get all the new videos that are released every day. And please rate and comment on this video. Let's talk about trade room totals today. October 22nd, 260 USD. That's 26 ticks across the board today. Relatively decent day. Had one of those days where we saw a bunch of small trades, small winners. We'll take a look at that a little bit later this afternoon in this video. Uh, brings our weekly total, guys, 860 for the week. We did 1,000 the first week, 3,000 the second week, 2,000 the third week. And here in the fourth week, uh, third full week, of course, of October, we're at 860. That brings us just shy of 7K for the month. And since May of 09, guys, 46.5 here in the live trade room. As you guys know, these are all actual, actual trades called Live in the Room. We'll keep you guys posted as we go through the month of October. The term of the day today is our trigger line. Now, the trigger line is a proprietary indicator that, of course, is available to our lifetime advanced members. The trigger line is a dynamic indicator, which means it's always recalculating, always changing. So you got to keep an eye on it. It's used specifically for our entries. We have three entry setup patterns: the wave setup, the breaker setup, and the two-step. Now, of course, we do ten of these patterns in our advanced materials. We'll focus just on these three here for this example, the wave, the breaker, and the two-step. Now, here's how this, this indicator, the trigger line, right? here's how it works into these three entry patterns. For the wave setup, I'm watching to see if the trigger line is above or below an important swing high or swing low. I'll show you guys what I mean about that in just a second. The breaker pattern, I want to I want to watch for uh, steep slope or, of course, flat slope. So I'm looking for the slope of the trigger line for a breaker pattern. On a two-step, the trigger line is actually just an additional layer of risk. It's actually just a layer of risk. We actually don't use the trigger line uh, anything more than a support and resistance line. What you want to remember is that it will apply to every single pattern and setup we use, so make sure you're constantly watching where that trigger line is, what the slope of the trigger line is, right? Is it nice and vertical? A vertical slope, right? A vertical upslope would be a trending mark to the upside, right? A long trend, an uptrend. A vertical slope to the downside would be a trending mark to the downside. Of course, we look for the breaker pattern uh, along with that vertical trigger line. Now, if we have a horizontal trigger line, right, a sideways trigger line, that, of course, will indicate sideways market or horizontal price action, which means we have no defined control over the market at that time, and we look for a two-step pattern when we see the trigger line is horizontal like that. Now, of course, we also watch this trigger line for major levels of support and resistance on a slower time frame, so watch them closely. All right, very important. We remember that slower time frames, these will be considered to be major levels of support and resistance, so watch carefully. Now, guys, here's what it's going to look like on your charts. Now, on the wave pattern, we look for the trigger line to get above or below the swings, right? That swing indicator, the blue lines there. And then for your two-step, simply as a level of support or resistance to avoid. The trigger line, like the rest of our indicators, the swing indicator, the auto levels indicator, are all available to you guys as lifetime members. These are proprietary indicators available to our School of Trade clients. And, of course, we'll show you guys how we use these indicators in full effect live in real time in our trade room. Monday through Friday, of course, the European session right now has been suspended due to low volume. So we're just running the U.S. session right now, 7.45 a.m. Eastern Time we start. Don't forget, guys, Tuesdays and Thursdays we do free webinars in our live trade room at 11.30 a.m. So be there for those, Tuesdays and Thursdays. And, of course, you can always get more information about us in the beginner's course, right? Price for about uh, price the cost of lunch and the beginner's course will give you guys all the information you guys need to know about our live trade room. Let's keep moving. Let's talk about some of the trades we took today. On the pound here. Now, today was one of those days where we quickly saw sideways market, sideways price action. But we later then began to see a trend in the fact that we weren't seeing much of, of the market running. We were seeing a lot of the one or two tick moves, two or three ticks back down, right? Small, you know, six to eight tick moves, and then, of course, come right back down. So it was a very choppy market. Did not see as we, of course, we didn't know that right off the bat. We saw sideways price action, but we didn't really know how the market was going to turn out today. 
We quickly saw a trend develop, though, in how the trades worked out. You'll see how that works out right here. The first trade, though, on the pound, of course, 6B is a symbol here in Ninja. This is at 9 o'clock, so before the 9.30 open. Again, guys, we talk about the British pound, the euro, the CAD. Great futures, right, great, great currency futures contracts that have pre-market trading opportunities. So a great way to pad our account before we get into the 9.30 open for the U.S. session. 902, this is a breaker short. As you can see here, price broke below that swing low. 65.32 was our entry, and we grabbed 16 ticks. Now, of course, we're trading eight contracts here on the pound, half the size of your euro. So we trade a little bit larger on the pound because of the $6.25 per tick. So breaker short, going with the trend here, it broke below that swing low. The swing low there at 34, entry at 32. We took our four tick target, and once again, right, as we said before, you're going to see a trend develop here on only this first target. I'm going to scale out of this position at plus four and then plus eight. But you will see, of course, how I only get my plus four pretty much all day today. Okay, so of course, the first trade, a plus four, right? First target filled. Our stop is then moved from six ticks back down to our point of entry to lock out risk, right? Lock in profit, lock out risk, lock in profit. Make sure that when this thing reversed on us, like it did right here, when it reversed on us, obviously, we had nothing to worry about because we had already locked in profit, eliminated all the risk, and it took me out there at my point of entry at 32. So 16 ticks there times 325. You guys can do the math. Next trade here at the crude, C, symbol CL. This is NYMEX crude, guys, not to be confused with CME crude. We trade NYMEX gold and NYMEX crude because it has more volume. Now, of course, just after, right, as you know, Three minutes later, after we took that first trade on the pound, right, 902, at 904 now, okay, two minutes later, we're looking at crude oil. Now, guys, remember, this is a universal pattern here, universal system, which means the same patterns on the British pound at 902, also just set up two minutes later on the crude market, and because these universal patterns look the same in the S&P, the crude, the gold, the pound, the euro, uh, the Russell, the Dow, universal patterns means I can move quickly here back and forth between between contracts and because my indicators are doing all the heavy lifting for me all I have to do is read the tape look at my pace tape indicator confirm with my rules and pull the trigger we'll show you guys of course live in our room tomorrow how we do all that in real time a breaker short once again same pattern here going with the trend of the downside Phil here was at 34 again another short right another, another small winner here plus four we took half a position off at plus four Okay, now of course on crude we trade four contracts, right? Half the size, you know, half the size of our of our pound trade there. Four contracts, half off of the first target, move our stop down to entry. That locks up our eight ticks or eighty bucks there towards our daily goal. Now we weren't done there yet. Final trade of the day was only a couple minutes later. I'm sorry, about an hour and a half later. Uh, Ten twenty-two here on the on the crude again. Another breaker long. Now of course if you were with us in our webinar today, we talked about this pattern about how we broke above that red line. That red line there, right, just above eighty, just below eighty-one, even right, eighty-one big round number. Lots of eyeballs focused on it. We consider it to be a high profile level of resistance there. Once we broke above that high profile level of resistance, of course it was marked automatically for me using my auto levels indicator. Right, no need to worry about looking for it on my own. I watched as the Swing high was marked again automatically for me. I then take the break above that high 8106 for a breaker long. Entry here at 8109 was the fill. Again, once again, another small winner here, plus four scratch. We take our first target, and as you can see, it bounced right back down to our point of entry. And of course, my, my stop was waiting there for it to make sure this small winner did not turn into a small loser. Right, never want that to happen. So we manage our trades. We're aggressive with our defense. And of course, guys, we can't finish up without reminding you that the pace of tape indicator will always help us with our entries. Good example here, guys, about 845 this morning. This was on the gold market, symbol GC. This is a 1209 contract. Again, looking for a two-step long here. This was a counter trend trade going above that 56 half level. We stayed away from it because we saw red flat decreasing price patterns there on our pace of the tape. And as you guys know, Right, decreasing flat price patterns, red pace of the tape, that's a big red flag for us. We avoided the trade, and as always, it saved us from getting stopped out. 
All right, so our rules save us money. And as always, guys, come out tomorrow morning and join us, 7.45 a.m. Eastern Time, Monday through Friday. Free webinars on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We'll give you guys live calls with entries, stops, and targets. Plenty of time for questions. And we'll give you a free three weeks as part of our trial. The beginner's course is highly recommended. Please rate and comment on our YouTube videos. Right, And as always, guys, for more information about lifetime membership, drop us an email, sales at schooloftrade.com. My name is Joseph James. The trade room opens up tomorrow morning, 7.45. Guys, don't miss a tick. We're expecting to have a great finish up to a great week. Bye-bye for now.